Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to start talking about dialogues um, which can be used to select um, some options which can be very useful. So what we done what we done in the last video was to add this image to this uh, the, to the picture box um, object and now we need to select a different image to add this object. So we need to select a file. So this is where the open file dialog comes to play, okay? So let's start by adding this uh, component. So there is many ways in which, you, actually there's two ways in which you guys can do this. Um, you can go to toolbox, go to open file. Uh, let me see, open, where is it? Okay, open file. Yeah. It's not here. It doesn't seem to be here. But let's just double click this uh, Windows Forms. Okay. Uh, you could create your own object. I'm going to show you guys how, how exactly this works. So I could create a button here, for instance, so you guys can see. It could do this. Okay. For the sake of this, this video. Or I could create a, a dialog. So let's create a private. Uh, open file dialog. Let's call OFD. Okay. Um, so this will show a dialog. Okay. Uh, this is going to be just be very simple. Uh, open file dialog. Let's let's initialize here on the form load. So it's all good. I'm gonna delete this actually, and I'm gonna delete this uh, here. Okay, let's delete this. Okay, so uh, now what we, what we can do is to add a method to which we we can do something. So let's just add a double click. So if I double click that picture, the picture box one, I'm gonna have the option to select a file to replace it. Okay, so now. What we need to do is just to do OFD.show dialog. We call this method, okay? Just to show you guys how this works. And we're gonna do something here. So this is this is our program so far. I just double click. And when I do that, I see this, okay? And I see these pictures. So Nothing, nothing too much special. Nothing too much, um, nothing special actually. So um, this, this here, if you, if we just let the Visual Studio show us. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So guys, you can see here it shows dialog result. Okay, which means that this object returns a dialog result type. So this can be used to assess some, um, let's say, statement. So we need to add a statement, okay? So the statement would be something like if uh, the, uh, if uh, OFD dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dialog result dot okay. Uh, so this can be used to kind of say that if the dialog is okay, if if we select uh, successfully selected a file, we could do something with this file. Okay, so now the the interesting part comes comes to play. So let's use let's assign the image on this picture box. Okay, so to do that, let's just call this dot picture box dot image. Is going to be equal, so we need to load this image. There's many ways to do this. Uh, you could use image, let's say image dot from file, uh, and the dialog will return the file. So OFD dot file name, which is the name of the file. So if doing this so far, we should be able to successfully change the the file. Let's just see if it's gonna work. Let's just double click this image. Okay, let's just select this image, click OK, and done. Okay, 
it's sense. So I guess you see we have some problems with the the I think the aspect ratio. Let's just change this here. Some some simple setting here. Um this dot picture picture box one dot I think is style, right? Or border style. Not sure. I mean just uh dot image dot where's the property not size though is let me take a look there's some property here which is body style okay body border style border style equals border style dot oh oh i see i could do this game okay, let's just let's just take a look at this oh i see I see what we've done that there. Mm, let me see, guys. It shouldn't shouldn't have shown that way. I just I think that image is not that that aspect to ratio though. Let's just select this. There's something here that we need to change. But we're gonna do that afterwards, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video, see you guys next time.